Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, Galileo, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, nice, it's good. Nice, it's good to see you. One more day. Thank you, me too. Yeah. Oh, thank uh, you very much. What's a, what's a good day? Oh, nice. Interesting. Every day uh, while we live is a good day. Just it's a blessing. Day. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Definitely. Yes. Just with, yes. just by having life, it's a blessing. So we have to be grateful. Yeah. Yes, we have to be grateful yeah. with that. Hi, Dinora. The life is a nose. Uh, you, are, you are freeze. Yes, uh, now I can hear freeze, you. Teacher. Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Dinora, how are you? Bye, you. I'm very good. Thank you. It's good to see you. One more day. Another day? Yes, another day. And we are about to finish week number three, right? And, and one more week and we finish the module, okay? Una semana más y terminamos el módulo. Very okay. quickly, right? Very quickly, yeah. bien rápido. So very fast. quickly. Yes. yes. When is the, when is the, the final exam? The final, the final exam, yeah, well, it's supposed to be like the, the last, the, the, you need to complete, or, I mean, or what do you mean by the final exam? The final exam of, of the module, no. No, the final, uh, there are a uh, middle test. That's right, yeah, we have the last. We have a final exam. Yes, the final exam. What is, is the? It's yeah, due yeah, uh, Monday 20th. It's due Monday 20th. Hasta el lunes 20, ahí está. Perdón, lunes 21. Oh, let me see. Yes, lunes 21. Till Monday uh, the 21st. Okay. That is, that is the, the last day to complete it. Es el último día para completarlo. It's the last day to complete it. Yeah. And basically, we, we finish uh, the same day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hi, Frida. Hello, good evening. Fine. How are you? I'm fine. Too. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. One more day. Hi, Amber. Hi, teacher. Hello. It's good to see you, like, not as a listener, but present in the class. Llegando, vengo. Haha, I imagine. Me imagino. Uh, these days have been really hard for you, right? Yeah. Yes. Very hard. I imagine. Well, for everybody, basically, because I know everybody works like every day and you finish to work very late too. Uh, Galileo, until what time do you finish work? Uh, I finish my work at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Exactly, 5 p.m. Exactly. You, you are very, uh, you are very, uh, how can I say it? strict you're very strict with the time right <laughs> yeah <laughs> mainly mainly, out, mainly, yes. in, mainly at the time you finish work <laughs> yeah <laughs> i imagine okay so um let me see oh oscar nulfo is here too welcome oscar nulfo thank you teacher are you representing any party today <laughs> Are you no, representing no. are you representing a political party today? <laughs> no, no political parties. No, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I am kidding. Oh Juan Carlos, yeah, Juan Carlos, you Juan Carlos, look, Juan Carlos Rivas is wearing blue. You are wearing red. Ahora falta alguien de blanco para que so we represent a political party para que representemos un partido político. <laughs> you know what? Oh, Dinora is wearing white. Ah, yes, I entonces. Se pusieron de acuerdo. You got an agreement. 
What teacher? La no, de I, Francia. Pida. Ay, Pida. Pida is wearing a blue. A, a blue, yeah. A blue, <laughs> She's like, a blue blouse. Yeah, no, no. I, I, we are saying, uh, no, but Dinora is not wearing white. Dinora is wearing a black blouse, I think. Yeah, black. Yes. So it's, uh, yeah, it's so no, no political parties being represented. Okay, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Voy a pasar rápido asistencia. Um, Alejandro Antonio. Ana Vigail. Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz. Cristian Ernesto. Ember. I'm here. All right. Frida. I'm here. Jacqueline, Jacqueline uh, Lisette, not present yet, okay, uh, Juan Carlos Alas, Juan Carlos Rivas, I'm here, okay, thank you, um, Eunice, Jan de Eunice, se nos desmotivó, Eunice, María Elena, Maria Elena, she's not present yet. Okay, Mauricio Antonio. Nelson Gabarrete. Oscar Anulfo. I'm here. Omar Francisco. Oscar Ernesto. Ah, I said it. Ah, no, not yet. Oscar Ernesto, no, right? Um, Rocio Lourdes. Okay, yeah. I see Omar Francisco. Okay, let's see. Um, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present teacher. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I put the attendance. Okay, Gloribel. No, right. Jocelyn Joanna. She was feeling really bad yesterday. Yesenia Marisol. Dinora. Present. And Galileo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so let's start uh, for, for today. Uh, we have some very, very interesting activities, okay? Uh, today we will, we will practice reading a little bit, but not only reading. We will have some activities when reading. We will have some pronunciation activities, okay? Which is uh, important and you will have the chance, okay? to listen to an audio about a reading and to practice pronunciation, okay? And then to, to report, okay, your, uh, your reading, okay? And of course, the idea is that you uh, get good pronunciation, okay? In an article we will read today, okay? Good, so that's the main idea today. Uh, but just before we start uh, the class, okay? The, the, like, before we start the topic, because the class started, before we start the topic, um, what did you study yesterday? I, I don't know, teacher. Uh, I'm not studying yesterday. Uh, you didn't, yeah, you didn't show up yesterday. You were not in class yesterday. Good. I, what, about, mm -hmm. what about the others? We studied? At the workplace. Communication at the workplace. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but specifically, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What we make an email. Exactly, exactly. We studied some tips or some important information when we write emails, right? Yeah. So, and what tips do you remember? Tell me one tip you remember to write an effective email. Be brief. Be brief. That's right. Be brief and... Concise, that's one tip. Any other tip? What tips do you remember for writing effective emails? To be, be cordial. To be um, polite, maybe we can say this, okay? To be polite, okay? Be polite, what else? Besides being polite, what else? Describe. Sorry? Describe and something. Describe something, but yeah, it's okay. But um, 
maybe we, we need something else. Tal vez necesitamos algo más ahí. Maybe we need something else here. Maybe you describe or, or mention the subject or describe uh, the most important in the first sentence, maybe. Okay. So, uh, what other tips do you have? Try to remember. Don't use all capitals. Don't use only capital letters. That's important, right? Don't use capitals. I mean, only capitals, right? You can use capitals, but only when it's necessary, like at the beginning of a sentence or uh, in, na in names, okay, or places, all right? Only when it's necessary, but not only capitals, okay? Not solo mayúsculas, not only capitals. Okay, what else? Tell me another tip. Don't use emoticons. Exactly. Uh, do not use emojis. On the on the pamphlet, they are described as smileys. Okay. Do not use smileys. Okay. Good. Thank you, Frida. What else? We had different ones. We had different uh, tips. Do not use abbreviations. Exactly. Do not use abbreviations like ASAP or. For how are you, for example, the how, and then the letter R and only the letter U, right? How are you, okay? So do not use abbreviations because emails at work are formal, okay? What else? Do you have another tip? Use a formal salutation. Use a formal salutation, salutation like good morning, good afternoon, or uh, dear, Frida Mejia or dear uh, Juan Carlos Rivas, okay? So use a formal salutation, very good. What else? We have more tips. Go and check the pamphlet. You can go and check the, the copy of the material, okay? Go and check the information. Proof read brief. before you send. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos, can you repeat it? Proof read before you send the message That's proof read the email okay proof read the email proof read is check again read it one more time just in case you have a possible mistake or a possible error okay yeah so proof read the email thank you juan carlos what what else we have more tips tenemos más we have more describe your information at the end of the email Describe your information at the end of the email. How do you call this information? ¿Cómo se, des, cómo se llama esta información? Maybe you can uh, say personal information or? Personal information, your name, your phone, your yes. position in the work. Yeah, but there was a, a, a word for that. There was a specific vocabulary word for that uh, closing, para esa, para esa información. There is a word in the tips. What is the word? Any idea? Signature block. It's called the signature block. So please use the signature block, like the name, uh, the email, and the company where the company or the address of the company where you work. Okay. Very good. That's it. I think we have something else. We have one more important thing. Tenemos algo más que es importante. It's at the end of the email. It's at the end of the email, there is something important. I mean, at the end of the email, before the, uh, before the personal information. I just remember uh, something like best regards. Exactly, exactly. Regards, best regards. Maybe you can say sincerely or best wishes. I don't know, okay? So this is important, okay? It's like saludos, regards, or best regards, or best wishes, mi mejores deseos, best wishes, okay? Yeah, or sincerely, okay? Yeah, so this is important. Eso es importante, sincerely, and then you write the signature block, y luego va el signature block, or your name, or, or, or su nombre, okay? Or your name. Very good. So basically, this is it. A question. What do you write in the first sentence? What do you write in the first sentence?
What do you write in the first dear, sentence of the email? Yes, Juan Carlos? Dear. The, no, Mr. but, okay, yeah, that's the salutation. But after that, when you start the first paragraph. Subject. Subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, no, the subject is, at the, is before, before dear. But uh, on the main paragraph, ya cuando van a escribir el primer párrafo, how, what do you write first? ¿Qué escriben primero? What do you write first? The name of the... No, the, the, name, the, no, the name is before. El nombre va antes. The name is before. The capital letter. Saludar. Main point. No, no, I mean... The, the purpose. The purpose. Yeah, the, the purpose. Yeah, who said it, the purpose? Adinora, okay. Yes. The purpose of the email. The purpose of the email. Or the main point of the email. El punto principal. The main point of the email. Like you, you can say, for example, the purpose of this email is to announce you that tomorrow uh, we will receive new products. And then you continue writing, right? Yes, so it's the purpose of the email, okay? Es el propósito del correo. It's the purpose of the email. And now the question is, did you finish your email? Terminaron su correo? Did you finish your email? <clears throat> yes. Fueron a discusión a subirlo donde le dije? Did you go to discussion? No? Of course. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay. Who said of course? Let me see. Who said of course? Can you of course? Que fue a subirlo? <laughs> me. Oh, okay, Christian. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Thank you for uh, for uploading it. Okay. So uh, this is just to remember, okay, about yesterday's topic. Yesterday's topic was to study some information to write effective emails, okay? Very good. But now let's go to today's topic, okay? Let's go to today's topic. And in today's topic, okay, we have, tenemos, we have, um, we have this question, okay? So for today, we will study etiquette. What is etiquette? What is etiquette? We will study etiquette at work. What is etiquette? Etiquetar. Etiquetar. What else? ¿Qué más? Any other idea? What is etiquette? It is etiqueta, como norma de etiqueta o palabras. Exactly. So etiquette is norms. Norms. Okay. That's the key word. Esa es la palabra clave. Norms. Norms at work. For example, uh, when you eat, when you eat in a restaurant, there is etiquette. Like, for example, use a fork, use a knife. For Sorry? Yeah. It's, it's like what? Behavior. It's, exactly. it's like behavior or as, as Jacqueline, I think it's Jacqueline, right? I, as Jacqueline is saying, it's like the, yes. way, the way you dress, la forma de vestir. So you dress according to the place, right? Vestimos de acuerdo al lugar. So that's etiquette. Eso es etiquette. Good. So now we have uh, some questions here. Uh, question number one, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. I imagine in your work, you have etiquette, right? So mention two rules of etiquette. For example, you can say dress formal clothes or I don't know or don't eat inside the office. I imagine you have some etiquette. Me imagino que ustedes tienen su etiqueta. You have your, what, your etiquette. What page? Uh, what page? Because it's on page 35, página 35, on page 35. Thank you. Okay, and the last question. Are these rules important and why? Are these rules important and why? Okay, so let's try to answer the questions quickly. Intentemos contestar rápidamente. Let's try to answer quickly. The questions are on page 35, okay? The questions are on page 35. Page 35, okay? Página 35, page 35.
In the last question, uh, you need to explain why, all right? You need to explain the reasons, yeah? In the last question. Teacher. Yeah? ¿Cómo se traduciría la primera pregunta? Hold on a second. Uh, let, me, let me check it out. Let me, let me, let me check it out. Déjame revisarla. Let me check it out. <clears throat> question number one, right? It's, um, yes. are, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Okay. Eh, es la palabra etiqueta o fami um, how can I say it? Um, familiar o, 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 o te suena esa palabra? I will, I, will, I will use this, okay? Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Te suena la palabra etiqueta? O está familiarizado con esa palabra? Are you familiar with this word? Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. Teacher, yeah. tengo problemas con internet, me está sacando tres veces. Oh my goodness. It's okay, just try to Lo get connected. Como, como yeah, just try to get... Será que me salgo y vuelvo a entrar? Mm, try, okay, intenta, ahorita. try then, try. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, how do you say escuchado? How do you say? Escuchado. Tell me the sentence. Sí, la he escuchado. Ah, in this case, you say I have. Let me write it for you. Te la voy a escribir mejor. The things that this tense, we haven't, we haven't studied this topic. No hemos estudiado el tema para esa oración. We haven't studied the topic for that sentence. Uh, you can say, uh, la hemos escuchado, pero, but what? Pero, ¿qué han escuchado? Eh, la palabra. Ah, okay. Para the, responder la primera pregunta. Uh, maybe you can say, we have. Okay. We have heard it. La hemos escuchado. We have heard it. Heard is, is like the past participle of the verb here. Es el pasado participio del verbo here, que es oír. Here. Okay? We have heard it. La hemos escuchado. Okay. We have heard it. Much better, Jacqueline. Jacqueline said. Quiero mejor. ver porque me sacó veces, pero me volví a pedir todo el proceso, el código, el nombre, eh, todo. No sé si okay. será mi. Pero... Is is an need your in, maybe is an need is an need your internet connection. No es la conexión a internet. Is an need the internet connection. <coughs> Hola. No es el problema la conexión a internet, ¿no? Eh, pues no lo sé, pues hasta ahorita que 
me ha pasado eso de que me esté sacando hasta tres veces. Ah, ok. Sí, pero creo que la conexión no es muy buena tampoco. I think, because sometimes I, we don't hear you like very well. Ok. Just try to stay connected. Y si te saca, vuelva a entrar. Try to get in again. Ok. Quickly. Ok. All right. ¿Quién más dijo que le estaba sacando? Who else? I think somebody else said, said the same. No, nobody. Okay. Solo quiero recordarles siempre, aprovechando, quiero recordarles eh, que vayan avanzando siempre en su trabajo. Recuerden, mañana es último día para enviar las, la semana, ¿ok? Así que si pueden dejarlo terminado hoy, las tareas de la semana sería magnífico. O si en todo caso no pueden ahora, mañana durante el día lo completan antes de la clase, ¿verdad? Así al finalizar la clase yo actualizo los, actualizo las notas. I update grades. ¿Ok? So please don't forget. Siempre no se les olvide. Esta semana no hay examen. Hasta la otra semana. Till next week. ¿Ok? Only the homework. Teacher, ya yeah. eh, están trabajando en algo. Te veo que están todos calladitos. <laughs> yes, uh, we are we are answering uh, we are answering the questions. Um, let me show you. Okay, we are answering uh, these questions. Okay, we are answering these questions. These questions are on page 35. Okay, en la página 35, page 35. And the idea right now is to answer these questions, okay? Okay. Please uh, do me the favor. When you finish, do the same, all right? When you finish, uh, go to reactions and raise your hand to keep a record of the people who, who are getting the work done. Okay, Christian, thank you very much. Okay, kind of, <laughs> kind of. Juan Carlos finished, Frida, okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Estaría bien. W-E-A-R es la palabra correcta para decir no usar. Can you repeat the question, please? Ejemplo, queer. Quisiera si está correcto el ocupar eh, weird. No sé si, si está bien escrito. Es doble. Le ve y como para no usar, do not wear. Where? Ah, is where, the verb where. 
It's like W E A R. Hola. W. It's W E A R. Sí. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, decir, do not wear tennis shoes. Wear. That's a word, Jacqueline. ¿Sí? Yeah, yes. yeah, it's okay. W do not wear. W E A R. Wear. Okay. Do not wear tennis shoes. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes and then we do the, the practice activity. Okay, time is almost over. Okay, so uh, basically we have um, three questions, right? And in the last question, uh, you need to explain the reason why for this question, okay? So question number one is, is the word etiquette, you pronounce etiquette, okay? Etiquette, etiqueta etiquette. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Or you say, oh, yes, it is. Okay, it's familiar to me, you can say. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Ah, you say, do not wear tennis shoes or uh, wear formal clothes or don't gel, don't gel at your coworkers or what? Be quiet uh, in the cubicles. For example, I'm just giving you examples, okay? Uh, the last question, are these rules important? You say, oh, yes, they are. Why? Ah, they are important. You can say they are important because um, they help us uh, live like in a peaceful way in the workplace, okay? I'm just giving you an example, yeah? Good. So uh, in this moment, the idea is that we go to breakout rooms and in the breakout rooms uh, you need to explain okay you need to explain the reason why in the last question and you need to ask each other the questions okay vamos a practicar las preguntas take turns please tomen turnos take turns in the breakout rooms take turns to practice with different classmates okay just imagine i practice with galileo and ember so the first time i ask galileo the questions and then galileo asks Amber, the questions. And Amber asks me the questions, right? So take turns, please. Tome turnos. Take turns asking the questions, yeah? And most important, most importantly, if your classmate makes an error in pronunciation or in, or in grammar, 
help your classmate. Ayudemos al compañero si tiene alguna dificultad. Let's help classmates, okay? The idea of working in groups is to help each other. Es ayudarse mutuamente, mutuamente. That's the main idea of working in groups and to practice, right? Okay, so uh, let's go to breakout rooms and let's practice the questions, okay? Okay, let's go. Hi. Okay. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yo no he terminado, Dinora. Como oh. entre tanto. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe to give a space uh, to Jocelyn to finish because she, she, she registered a little late. Maybe, Dinora, you can ask Gloribel and Gloribel can ask you. And then when she finishes, you ask her. Y cuando ella termine, le preguntan. When she finishes, you ask her, okay? Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. The punctual arrived at the office. Keep the workplace clean and orderly. Are these rules important? Yes, they are. Why? Because they help to have an appropriate behavior at work. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Dinora, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Mention two rules of, ¿cómo se pronuncia etiquette? Etiquette. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. One, do you do arrive early? And to keep it clean. Are there are these rules important? Yes, they are. Why? Because it's important to have a good environment in the workplace. Interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, Glory Bell. You say rules or rules? What is the pronunciation? Rules or rules? Rules. Rules. What are you thinking, Nara? Rules. Rules. You say rules. You have to say rules. Rules, okay? You can help each other. Pueden ayudarse mutuamente, okay? You can help each other, okay? So wait for Jocelyn then. Espera a Jocelyn. Wait for Jocelyn. Feeling better, okay. Jocelyn? No nauseous today? Okay, <laughs> good. No, teacher, oh, no. Okay, aún no, not yet. <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, más. Yes, it is. Okay. Nation to rules of etiquette at your workplace. Okay. Um, number one, use the uniform correctly. And number two, follow the security protocol. Okay. Are these rules <coughs> are these rules important? Why? Right? 